Thinking ahead to campaign 2014, Westchester County Executive Rob Astorino makes it official he is running for governor. But before he can challenge Andrew Cuomo, he may face a primary battle. Here's CBS2 political reporter Marsha Kramer. He's a Republican who has won twice as county executive in heavily Democratic Westchester County. Now Rob Astorino is hoping that will give him a boost in running against incumbent Governor Andrew Cuomo and his massive $33 million war chest. I'm announcing my candidacy today for governor of New York State because I'm tired of listening to the fairy tale that everything is just great when it's just the opposite. I'm tired of watching New York's decline. Astorino announced his candidacy in a video. Tomorrow he will embark on a Bronx to Buffalo statewide whistle stop tour to highlight his pro-business, pro-economic development, pro-gun, pro-charter school platform. New York's number one in all the wrong things under this governor, and we're paying a price for it. We have the highest taxes in the country, the worst business climate, the most corrupt government, and the second highest electric rates anywhere. But Astorino has a problem, the possibility of a primary from Donald Trump, who reportedly has the support of about 70 percent of the Republican county chairman who will decide the official nominee. Trump's senior counsel Michael Cohen issued this statement about Astorino's candidacy. Quote, Rob Astorino's announcement will do little to curb the vast movement by the majority of GOP leaders who are all committed to a Donald Trump candidacy. Their belief is that only Donald Trump has the ability to win the gubernatorial race and defeat Cuomo. Well, sources tell me Donald Trump is considering a run. And Carl Palladino, who ran four years ago, told me if Trump doesn't run, he will, unless Astorino takes on the so-called rhinos in the party, which stands for Republicans in name only. Meanwhile, Team Cuomo didn't respond to the announcement, but one Westchester County Democratic legislator said Astorino shouldn't run because he was just re-elected as county executive and has obligations to fulfill full time. Alice and Maurice. Any reason to believe Mr. Trump has taken this one seriously? Well, we don't really know, but he does and point out that he does have the support of 70 percent of the county chairman, and traditionally they have overruled the candidate of the, the party, state party chairman, which is Ed Cox. So I think we have to wait and watch and, you know. Interesting see. to see what his slogan might be. See, see how it goes. Okay. <laughs> the mind boggles. Thanks, Marsha.